Hello, a Better Lived Life crew. I'm Christina, coach, combat vet, and community change agent. So it can seem impossible to function in today's society without a phone in our hands. Between constant updates on social media, texts from friends and family, getting directions, and constant entertainment at our fingertips, it's no wonder we can't put down that little box. If you have ADHD, it can also be countless hours of doom scrolling, rabbit holing, and daydreaming based on stories and photos that we see. For many of us, this little box has basically stolen our ability to focus on our goals and to complete the tasks that we want to in a timely fashion. Today, I want to focus on a few ways to make our phones less interesting. There are a few simple things that we can do to help us keep from being derailed by our phones. First, as I mention often, getting enough sleep is critical for those of us with ADHD. So let's start there with a few simple things that can keep us off of our phones during sleep time. Somewhere in your phone settings is a sleep function or a do not disturb function. Take a few minutes and learn how to set it up. Turn off notifications a half hour before you go to bed and set it so they don't come back on until a half an hour after you get back up. This will allow you to get a full night's sleep and start your day without a bunch of distractions so you can start on the right foot. Now, I have had people tell me that they can't do this because they're afraid they'll miss an urgent call. One, this is very unlikely to actually happen. Two, even if it did, you probably can't do anything about it at midnight. And three, these settings have bypass options. Stop making excuses. On some phones, you can designate people who can call through even when it is in do not disturb mode. There's also the most common feature, which is simply that if somebody calls twice in a short period of time, the call will go through. So after you set it, just contact your friends and family and let them know that if they need you after hours to simply call twice in a row, then you will they will get through and you will pick up and you can handle the emergency. But on other days, you'll be left uninterrupted in your sleep because the phone won't ring, the texts won't buzz, the notifications won't sound. Keeping with the theme of sleep, we need to get the phone out of our hands so that we can get ready for bed and prepare for a good night's sleep. Here we have two things. First, set a bedtime alarm. So for example, if you want to be in bed at 9.30 and it takes you 20 minutes to get ready for bed, Setting the alarm for nine o'clock can let you know that it's time to wrap up whatever you're doing so that you can go ahead and get ready for bed. A reminder can be a powerful thing, but we all know that sometimes our brains will not comply. We are too engrossed in our doom scrolling. The colors, the lights, clicking up our dopamine, everything is designed to keep us on those social media and game platforms. We can take back control by removing their ability to dazzle us. Around the same time that my bedtime alarm goes off, my phone switches to black and white mode. It won't return to color until an hour after my wake up time. Find these settings in your phone and be amazed how quickly you lose interest in your phone after it changes into black and white mode. Set it to come on and off at the same time every day to help you keep a schedule. Now that you are getting sleep, let's focus on daytime usage. So how many apps do you have on your phone? How many do you really need? It can be great sometimes when we're waiting for things to have something to distract us, but how often do we get sucked into these apps and not do the other things that we really wanted or needed to? Remove apps for social media. Go through the website instead. This one extra step can cut down on your social media usage because it's just too easy to click an app. For many of us, this one step can return several hours a day to us. Now, do the same for games. I know, <laughs> this sucks. If you have one game that only draws your attention for a few minutes, then you lose interest. That one game can stay. But if you've ever spent 45 minutes on a game, it should probably go. 
If you remove these apps and keep them off of your phone for a week, you are going to be amazed how much time you get back in your life. During the times that we usually fill with these apps, instead you can find many tasks that help you to reach your goals. Waiting for the microwave? How many dishes can you wash? How many squats can you do? Once all of these apps are gone, this can be a great time to embrace your goal of learning a language. A language app typically has short lessons, five to 10 minutes, that can fill gaps that we used to fill with mindless games. Typically, these apps aren't so addictive that we would allow them to override the other tasks that we need to do, making them perfect for something to have to distract ourselves during short breaks. If for you, it's more about having something for your hands to do, get a fidget device, spin, click, and toggle something so that your brain and the rest of your body can do something better for your future. If you take my advice, you will be surprised how much more you start to accomplish in a month. A few extra minutes of exercise every day changes our health outcomes over a lifetime. A few extra minutes of cleaning makes our homes more comfortable, calming, and less stressful. A few minutes of brainstorming can prevent mindless snacking and result in real delicious meals that make us feel like we're truly living. And one language lesson a day leads to fluency during our lifetime. So one, set the do not disturb or sleep function. Two, set a bedtime alarm. Three, set black and white mode. Four, remove your social media apps. Five, remove the game apps. Six, set replacement goals for those little mini breaks. Seven, add a language app. Eight, use a fidget device. If you found this content useful or know someone who it would be helpful for, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's all build a better lived life. Now, go forth and do great things.